right, what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. So, breaking news, I think of yesterday, Tuesday, Belichick will not be returning to the New England Patriots as the head coach. They are parting ways with Belichick, the six-time Super Bowl, nine-time Super Bowl appearance coach with the New England Patriots. Now, anybody who's been living under a rock, everybody knows who Bill Belichick is. If you've been watching football for at least 10 years, eight, at least eight to seven years, seven to eight years, you know who Bill Belichick is. Come on. He's the emperor of the New England Patriots to do your job, to, you know, uh, do it the, the, the Patriot way and all this other stuff. Well, guess what? The Patriot way is going to die after this year. And you know what? I'm so happy it is because Belichick is overrated. It's a good thing. New England, you should be happy. This It's time to get up with 2023 and get an offensive guy and get a great quarterback. This Belichick stuff has died out. The Belichick thing died out when Tom Brady left. Belichick's not a good coach. Someone has to say it. He's not a good coach. You you want proof? Let's look at Belichick with the Browns. He sucked. People sit here and talk about, oh, he brought the Browns the first playoff win. He brought the Browns to the playoffs. Okay, great. Are you going to ignore the two years before that where they sucked and the year after that where he sucked and where he got fired? He was fired as the Browns head coach. Let's not forget about that, people. He was going to get fired as the Browns head coach. He was fired as the Browns head coach. He sucked. He sucked. And let's talk about the fact that he was going to get fired as the Patriots head coach until someone named Tom Brady fell in his lap in the sixth or seventh round or wherever Tom Brady got drafted. And I don't know. I don't care. The picture, you, know, you guys know where Tom Brady got drafted at. I can't remember off the top of my head. But he was the last pick, and Brady saved him. Brady saved him. Do you realize Bill Belichick had uh, Drew Bledsoe, a, uh, Drew Bledsoe, who's been to the Super Bowl in the 90s? Granted, they lost to Brett Favre, and I think he went to another Super Bowl in the 90s. But he had a Super Bowl quarterback in Drew Bledsoe and couldn't do anything with him. Couldn't do anything with him besides get him injured, and then Tom Brady came out of nowhere and saved, his life, and saved himself. He saved Belichick. And let me just tell you something. Brady's a better man than me because all the stuff that Belichick put Brady through, number one, you didn't get him besides maybe Randy Moss and drafting Rob Gronkowski. Who is who is uh, Belichick got for Tom Brady? Tom Brady's been taking pay cut after pay cut after pay cut after pay cut to get all these offensive weapons. Besides Randy Moss, who you got rid of after, what, two, three years? Rob Gronkowski, who you drafted and had to retire a few times because he couldn't stand Belichick because Belichick tried to trade him to Detroit. Who else did he get? Wes Walker wasn't good. Wes Walker was only good with Tom Brady because Tom Brady made him good. When Wes, when Wes Walker was with Peyton, he had one good year. When he went to the Rams and all these other random places, he sucked. When he was with the Dolphins, he sucked. Julian Edelman was a quarterback in college. Chris Hogan, are we serious? Deion Branch is decent, but at the same time, nothing special. And let's let's even take it a step further. The reason why Belichick got all these head coaching jobs is because he he was uh, the defensive coordinator of one of the greatest uh, defensive players ever, if not the greatest linebacker ever. Can we? Can I just say something? Can someone make the case? I'm going to make the case right here. Belichick was carried by Lawrence Taylor and Tom Brady, because if Lawrence Taylor's not going off in those uh, Super Bowls. Win a Super Bowl MVPs and win the Giants Super Bowls. No one's looking at Belichick uh, as a head coach. And if it wasn't for Tom Brady falling in his lap, he would have got fired as the Patriots. Uh, 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 he got fired as the Patriots head coach. And no one would know who Belichick is. No one would care about the hoodie and the, him being the emperor. Tom Brady went to the Bucks and won a Super Bowl. Went to the second round and went to the first round. And was in the MVP conversation his second year. What has Belichick done ever since Brady's left? He had one, he sucked with Cam Newton, drafted Mac Jones, went to the first round, got bounced by, got emasculated by the Bills, and it sucked ever since. Sucked ever since. Belichick is beyond overrated. And Patriot fans, for all the nine Patriot, for, for all the real Patriot fans who've been Patriot fans before Brady and Belichick got there, who are Patriots fans were still Patriots fans uh, even after Brady uh, left. This is a good thing. 
Belichick, this is a good thing for the Patriots. It's time to move on. It is really time to move on. Belichick is, he's not up with the system. He still think it's my way or the highway. Well, guess what, Belichick? It wasn't your way or the highway. It was Tom Brady's way. Because all the players that wanted to play with Brady went with him to the Bucks. All the players, Rob Gronkowski, Landon Fournette, Antonio Brown, all went to the Bucks. Meanwhile, everybody left you. Everybody left you. Because you suck. You're not good. Now, am I saying Belichick's not gonna, gonna get another head coaching job? No, he's definitely gonna get another uh, another head coaching job. But let's just say hypothetically, let me just throw him on with the Chargers because we all know Brandon Staley's gonna get fired after this year, justifiably so. Brandon Staley sucks, and especially Justin Herbert being out now. But let's just say hypothetically, he goes to the Chargers. The Chargers are not gonna win anything. You're still gonna get smacked by Andy Reid twice. You're most likely gonna get smacked by Sean Payton and Russell Wilson twice. You'll beat the Bron- you'll beat the Raiders. I'll give you that. You'll beat the Raiders. But at the same time, this Belichick Patriot way does not work. And Justin Herbert's nowhere near Tom Brady. And what I mean by that is Justin Herbert doesn't have the leadership nor the intangibles, the killer mode that Tom Brady had to win your games. When it's 24 to 21, Justin Herbert's gonna lose. Tom Brady's gonna go down the field and get a touchdown or tie back up. If it's 25 to 21, Tom Brady's gonna go back. Tom Brady's gonna go down the field, and get a touchdown. Justin Herbert's not gonna do that. And that Charger defense, I mean, besides Bosa, Khalil Mack, and them boys, okay, the defense might be good. Defense might be decent. But once again, this goes back to another point. Nobody wants to play with Belichick because he thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. Guess what, Belichick? You're not. You know who the smartest guy in the room was? Tom Brady. Because he lets you run the show. And then when Tom Brady won a little shine, you said no. And you kicked him out. You kicked him out. You First of all, you wanted to kick him out for Jimmy G. Look how that worked. And by the way, and this is the biggest treason ever. And we're going to end the video on this. This is the biggest treason ever. And I don't care if you can call me conspiracy theorist. You can call me stupid. You can call me dumb. Whatever the case may be. The most unforgivable thing that Belichick has done is he benched Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl against the Eagles back in 2018. That is the most unforgivable thing ever. Most unforgivable. I don't care if Malcolm Butler, I don't care what Malcolm Butler did. I don't care if he was late. I don't care, you know, if he ran over somebody. I don't care if he jumped out of plane to the uh uh practice to practice. You cut him after. You discipline him after. You discipline him before. You don't bench your best cornerback statistically that year because Stephon Gilmore was not statistically better than Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl. I still think Belichick sabotaged that Super Bowl. Maybe he didn't want to lose, but at the same time, he didn't do his best chances to win. How do you bench Malcolm Butler, who's your best cornerback? And you're when, when you're getting lit up, you don't put him out there. Nick Foles was laying you up like he was prime Peyton Manning out there. You don't put him out there? You don't put Malcolm Butler out there besides a few snaps on special teams? You got Gilmore and the rest of these bums out there getting lit up. Nick Foles is looking like Peyton Manning with Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne out there. And this idiot Belichick's like, you know what? Let me put my statistics, let me put my best corner out there. I know I'm trying to discipline him, but at the same time, this is the Super Bowl. I'll just cut him after the season. No, instead, Tom Brady puts on a performance, 500 yards, 3-4 touchdowns. I don't think he threw an interception. Brady, Brady did his thing. I mean, he dropped the pass, but you know it is what it is. But at the same time, Belichick calls him that Super Bowl by not putting his best foot forward, by putting his ego on the line. And honestly, I still think he sabotaged that Super Bowl. Because if Belichick, let's just say Belichick's the smart guy everybody thinks he is. If you're a smart guy and you see your defense getting lit up by a, a backup, wouldn't you put your best corner in there? Wouldn't you best put your best corner in there? Patriots. And listen, I don't hate the Patriots. And listen, I like the Patriots. My Giants got two Super Bowls off of you, so I like the Patriots. But listen, Patriots, you should be happy. The Belichick era is over. Now it's time to get somebody new. Jim Harbaugh, Sean McVay if he leaves. You never know. Possibility endless. That's my thoughts, man. What are yours? RJ out.